Hey guys, welcome to this video on the R programming language. So in this video, we're going to do a few select statements from SQL using the R programming language, and we're going to do it on NBA data. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we need to do is load our SQL package. And if you don't already have the SQL package installed, you can install it by saying install.packages, and then quotes, and then type SQLDF, which is the name of our package. All right, now I already have the package installed, so I won't be executing that instruction. But I will be loading the package. So let's load the SQL package, since I already have it installed. And we can do that by just saying library SQLDF, and then press enter. And so now we have our SQL, also known as SQL, package installed. Okay, so next thing we want to do is load our Excel package or our XL SX package. And of course, if you don't already have that installed, you can just install it by saying install dot packages and then the uh, uh, quotation and then the name of the package, which is XL SX. Okay, and then that will install the package for you. Of course, I already have the package installed. So we're just going to load the xlsx package okay and we do that by saying library uh, xlsx okay and then press enter so we're loading this package and we're going to be using both of these packages um, the the xlsx package is so that i can read in the excel file where the data is being held and I got the data from stats.nba.com and the SQLDF package is the package that will allow us to use uh, the select statement from SQL. All right. So now let's go ahead and read in the Cavaliers. We're going to call it Cavs data. So the Cavaliers is just a team, uh, NBA team. In, and uh, they have uh, players such as LeBron James and Isaiah Thomas. So uh, we're going to read in that data and do some uh, queries on it. Okay, so I'm going to store it in a variable called calves. And we're going to use the function read.xlsx. Okay, and I have it stored on my C drive. So I'm just going to where this data is stored. It's on my desktop. XLSX. Okay. And I need to tell it what sheet um, the data is in. So it's in sheet name equal to sheet one. And I believe that's a capital S. All right. And it looks like it wasn't able to read in the data. Please provide a sheet name or a sheet index. Um, I probably I misspelled sheet name here. It's not a lowercase n, it's a capital N. So let's try that again. All right, and now I cannot find, okay, so it looks like I put a semicolon instead of a colon. All right, so hopefully this fixes my mistakes. Perfect, so now we have our Cavs data here. All right, so I'm just going to double click this data frame and we can see our table. We have the players here. Um, we have 17 observations, which means that we have 17 rows of data and we have nine variables. So that means we have nine columns on our table. All right, so we can see all of our players. We have Kevin Love, uh, Dwayne Wade, and of course, a lot of people know LeBron James. And we have the numbers associated with, with each player. So LeBron is number 23. Um, Kevin Love is number zero. Derek Rose is number one. We have position here, which that's what POS stands for. The F is forward, C is center, G is guard. So uh, we can see our forwards, our guards, and our centers here, the positions that each player plays. And then here we have our height column, but looks like there was some problems with the data here. So we're gonna clean that up a little bit later. It looks like it translated it to dates. And so we won't use that uh, column. 
All right, next we have the weight in pounds for each player. So it looks like, let's see, Dwayne Wade is 220 pounds. All right, and next we have the birth date of each player, which is pretty cool to see when they were born. We have their age. And then EXP, I'm not really sure what that means. So um, I'm going to just get rid of that column as well. And then we have the school that they went to. All right, so let's go ahead and clean up the data a little bit. So calves is going to be equal to calves at position. I mean, we're going to choose the columns of one, two, three. We're going to skip column four. That's the height column. We're going to choose five, six, and we're going to skip seven and just go to eight. And make sure I put my commas properly here. So one, two, three. That's player number position. We're skipping four, which is height. We're going to weight and birth date, which is five and six. Uh, looks like age is seven, and so EXP is eight. So we need to uh, keep seven. You don't want eight, and we're going to choose the last column, which is nine, because there's nine columns. All right, so now this should uh, clean up our data a little bit. And we can see that our our calves table has changed without those two columns now. All right, so we still have the same number of observations. We just have two less uh, variables or two less columns. Okay, so let's go ahead and start manipulating some of this data. Um, let's select all columns from the Cavaliers table, the Cavs table. And we can do that by saying or by using the uh, SQL DF function where we can write our SQL statement. So I'm going to say select star from calves. Okay, and so you can see that this just gives us back everything in the table. All right. So next up, let's do another select statement. Let's select the player and the school the player went to. All right. So we're just going to use SQLDF again. I'm going to say select um, player and school from the calves table. Okay, and now we can see that uh, it looks like Jay Crowder went to Marquette or Marquette. I'm not really sure uh, uh, how to pronounce that college there. Um, pretty cool. Iman Shumpert went to Georgia Tech. And Derrick Rose went to, it looks like Memphis here. And Kevin Love went to UCLA. So that's pretty cool to see. All right, so um, let's select all players whose names start with I. Okay, so select all players whose names start with I. All right, so we're going to use SQLDF again, and then we're going to say select um, star, or we're going to select player from calves where uh, player is like. I, and then percent, and then another quote there. So that percent sign after the I basically just says, um, give us, it, it basically is a wild card that basically says, you know, it doesn't matter what comes after this, after this I here. It's basically saying, just bring us back all the, all, all the symbols uh, behind the I. That's what this whole statement say. All right, so um, let's go ahead and run it. And we can see that we get uh, back players, and we get back the two players, Isaiah Thomas and Ima Shumpert. So these are the two players whose names start with I. And again, this right here, uh, the I and then parentheses, I'm um, sorry, the I and then percentage sign is what gives us um, uh, the results. So if I had put an R in front of the I instead, it would give us all the players whose names start with R. And uh, if I put T, it do the same thing, but for people whose name starts with T. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and, and do some more select statements. Um, let's let's select 
LeBron's age and weight. Okay, so I'm going to say SQL DF. And we're going to say select the age, uh, select the player, the age, and the weight from Cavs, where the player is equal to LeBron. And I think his name has a capital B in it, yes. LeBron James. All right. And we get back uh, LeBron James's age, which is 32. And we get back his weight, which is 250 pounds. So he's a pretty, pretty heavy guy. All right. So now let's count the number of ages on the team roster. So here we're going to count the number of ages on the team roster. All right. So we're going to use SQLDF again. We're going to select the age. And we want the count. Yes, we want the count of each of the age from the Cavs table. And we're going to group by the age. So now here are all the ages. So it looks like uh, two people are age 27, one person is age 26, two people are age 32, two people are age 36. And as a matter of fact, I only want to get back the, the ages of people who share the same age. So not the people who only have, you know, who have unique ages like 20, 22 or 20, but people who share an age like 27 and 29. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're basically going to count the number of ages on the team roster that have a count greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so we do that by saying SQLDF and then select the age, the count of the age from uh, the Cavs table. Uh, and of course, we're going to group by the age that has a count of the age uh, greater than or equal to 2. All right. Perfect. So now we see we just get back ages 27, 29, 32, and 36, and the number of people who have those ages on the uh, team roster for the Cavaliers. So that's cool to see. There's three people who are age 29. Pretty neat. Okay, so maybe we want to order the ages. So let's uh, select the players and their age from the Cavs roster by age from oldest to youngest. Okay, so we're just going to say SQLDF and then we're going to say select player and we want their age from the Cavs table and we're going to order it by age and we're going to do it in uh, descending order. Okay, so that's what the ESC stands for. And so now we can see that the oldest age is 36 and the youngest age is 20 on the Cavs roster. All right. Okay, so next up, maybe we want to select all players with the or uh, select all guards, how about that? Select all guards or players with the G position. Now, only, we're, gonna, we're only gonna select only the um, guard position. So if they share uh, another position besides guard, then we're not gonna return them, okay? We only want people who have that guard position, and that's it, nothing else. 
Okay. So we can do this by saying, well, you know what? I'm going to make it a little bit more complicated. Let's do only the cart position and um, players older than 28. All right. So let's select that. So we're going to say SQL uh, DF. And I'm going to say select the player, the position of the player, the age of the player from the Cavs table, where the position is G, and their age is greater than 28. Okay, so it looks like on the Cavs roster here, there are four guards who are older than 28. And they are Derrick Rose, Dwayne Wade, Cal Corver, and Jose Calderon, which is pretty cool. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I thought it was pretty fun to manipulate some of this data from the actual uh, stats.nba.com, which is where I got this table from. Um, I'll be sure to leave a link in the description below so you too can get all the stats that you want on the NBA players. And also, I thought it was really cool that we can manipulate data using SQL statements in R. So I hope you found this very, very interesting and helpful. Um, please leave likes. If you found this video really helpful, share it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, guys. And I'll be definitely putting up more videos on the R programming language. And as always, uh, thanks for watching. Um, leave likes. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.